All is set for the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the National Cathedral. The President, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, together with the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baomia, will be present to pave way for the construction of the National Cathedral. President Akufuado said he made a promise to build a monument to God. The attempt to start the project, however, led to a court tassel. The court, however, threw attempt at stopping the construction of the edifice out, pending way for the work to start. The president, Nanado Dankwa Kufuado, cut sword for the construction of a national cathedral in 2017. The cathedral is expected to serve as a national place of worship and a location for gatherings of religious ceremonies. Tomorrow, groundbreaking ceremony will see commencement of work. A member of the trustee and organizer of the ceremony, Reverend Victor Kwesi Boatin, said, The president, together with the vice president, will tomorrow, Thursday, perform ceremony at the site. Preparation is far advanced. By the grace of God, 8 a.m. tomorrow till 9.30, the president will be here to do the groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the National Cathedral. He said enough money has been generated to enable the project start. How much have you been able to raise so far? We have raised some couple of monies, but because it is in the hands of our auditors, not until we have an audited report, I cannot come public with how much is being raised. But we have enough to be able to pull this cathedral up. We are starting the cathedral in this building. By the grace of God, we have some things in stock. We have some monies available with which we are going to build the National Cathedral. In November last year, government properties on a 14-acre prime land in Accra were pulled down to make way for the construction of a National Cathedral. Yet to be demolished buildings at the site include the passport office. The general public are encouraged to be present. Currently at the background are preparational work currently ongoing ahead of tomorrow's commissioning and groundbreaking ceremony. Joseph Armstrong, TV3, Accra.